what is going up guys I hope you guys are all having a great day today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a review type tutorial on the thinkorswim trading platform here I filmed it once just checked it and guess what there's no microphone plugged in so I think we're in the clear now so that's begin so as you guys log in you guys are gonna see these menu tabs up here so you know pretty much there's only about four ones that you guys are gonna somewhat pay any attention to the top ones are gonna be the scanner and the charts because that's where you find the stocks and where you buy them you know makes sense the other important one if you guys are in the market watch you can actually set up your alerts and your you know pretty much everything as you guys can see you can all have it uh, plugged in there and then what you also can do is if you're new you could there they do have a pretty decent education thing so if you want to learn about stocks all you gotta do is just they have like a little mini course here it's actually pretty decent I um, as you guys can see I did do about 2% of it so you know it could be better obviously I got a little bit into it and then I you know kind of uh, found something else but you know on this left side here over here this is where you can have your watch list for the day or some live scanners going uh, when you guys create them and actually save them in here you can pull them up here so if you have a good pre-market scanner you can just put it up here and then make sure you link it to your charts I'll show you how to do that it's very simple so all you gotta do is just make sure that the colors are the same right here so red and red for all of them so you know when you type in Apple whoops a a p l you know and you click this boom they all load in you know and all right so that's begin how to pretty much customize it uh, from here so if you want to add any other gadget all you gotta do if you want another scanner slash watch list they don't have a scanner tab but I figured the watch list works because um, all you do is just go to your personal and the ones with the little type uh, you know target on them are the scanners and then the ones that don't are just a regular watch list so if you have a good Momo scanner you can pull it up link it like such and boom you're in business so this stock had momentum upward trend um, the scanner caught it and alerted me so you know that's find a different uh, let's just put Apple back on just because it's a lot easier and you know you can actually see some of the uh, news and pretty much the level two just to make it easier so if you want to bump this out more all you got to do is drag it and if you just want to bump it in you just kind of move over and it shoots back in so now all the way up in the top right is how to put up your charts so if you want four charts up all you got to do is just have four boxes up and if you want a ton all you got to do is just click at pretty much just as many boxes as you want but I figured my go-to is four because one thing that I found is that when you are new you think you should have you know six um, you know six monitors six thousand charts up but that's not the case you just gotta you know pay attention and you know put the best up on your screen so now the next thing here is once you find something that you like you know so for you you know you're ready to start customizing them so if you want to add these moving average lines um, if you look close I'd have four so I have the uh, I have the 9 the 20 the 90 and the 200 I forgot for a quick minute there so remembered we're in the clear <laughs> so all you got to do is just click this edit studies button up on top and then you can pull it up so if you want to add you know a simple moving average line you just begin to type pull it in and then to customize it you just go to this customize tab this little gear right here now you can change the color the width pretty much everything so then you click OK then you click apply so now you can see it coming up on top right there so now to delete it all you gotta do is just click this little X here click apply boom and it's gone so then when you're done click OK so next to customize the main uh, chart behind it you know the volume the colors of the candlesticks all you gotta do is just click this little chart settings tab 
Now this is where you're gonna have all of pretty much everything. You're gonna have you know the content, the price, the time, the time favorites, the appearance, and then all this other mumble jumble that I really don't pay attention to. So back to the time. Now this is where you can um, you know pretty much save the time frames that you uh, you know like. So all you gotta do is just go to your favorites, click add time frame and then boom then you click add but I like mine just how it is so then when you're done you just click apply or okay so the next thing that you guys can customize is the appearance so if you want to change the background of it to white like it would look in here all you gotta do is just click white but I am not gonna do that I'm gonna I think it was black I don't know black looks pretty sharp I, I like that but I believe it was that all right so another common thing that people always ask is how how do they fill up uh, the bowl candles because they don't are they come default uh, they come like this I'll show you they come like this so all you gotta do is just click this little checkbox right here that says fill up and then you can change it to whatever color you want but you know green and red is the best and then the white for the dojis is the best as well all right, so the next thing here, after you you know customize your appearance and your time, all you gotta do is just click OK, and then we're moving on to the next thing. So the next thing here is pretty much just gonna be the time frame. So whatever time frame you want up on this screen, you just put it up. If you want a you know one day, one minute for more of a day trader, you know then you know you got the five day you know five minutes. Yeah, you got the five day fifteen. And so on and so on so you know if you want to add one all you got to do is just click it but one thing that I found is if you don't if you you know click on a different one and don't actually go into the settings and uh, save it that it won't save so just a little tip for you the next thing here is the style so this is if you're if you like you know if you're a different type of a trader and you like the bar um, I, it's just not my style guys I like candles it's very very simple and easy to understand so the next thing here we're gonna be talking about is the drawing tools so now this if this is if you're you know a day trader you guys see these trend lines and this horizontal line so this horizontal line it goes across the entire um, time frames it, you know all the way you know in the past and the present and everything so it's very very cool so all you gotta do is just you know right click to, to delete it you go to remove drawings but we'll show you how to add them it's very very simple guys so you, there's two ways you can click the drawing tools up here or you can go down here I found that going down here is a lot faster so then you for the trend lines now these are just the short and sweet ones like that and then the price line like this or price level you gotta you know find the price that you want and click so now this shoots it across all of the time frames just because they are linked and it's it's you know very very cool guys very cool all right so the next thing here is another studies tool uh, similar to up in the front but you know this they have more options you can go to quick study and actually add it really quick you can go to add but I always find it a lot easier to just click the edit so once you find studies that you like you can actually save them as a study set and then you can load them up again so I do have two I have you know just my day trading this is that one and then my swing trading and then to delete super easy so now here <coughs> Here is the you know patterns that you if you're into that um, which everybody should be but I just don't like how they um, do it so we can pull a couple up just to see if they come up I'm not sure if they will all right so let's just click apply uh, I don't see any but pretty much what they do is they send you like alerts and all kinds of different stuff so it's just not I like to actually find the patterns because it's very you know it's a lot you know more it's like a confirmation for yourself to say okay I found this pendant 
now let's see what happens rather than the computer you know finding it it's just not the same you know that's what I found that's what I found your opinion you guys are more than welcome to do whatever you want all right the next thing here is the symbols action so you know you can just find things that are up on there uh, they just make it you know they just try to make it easier for you guys so here is the um, actually how to set up where you can have the buy and sell buttons all right so here right here this is just trade so if you guys like it like that you have everything that you need uh, I like the active trader we'll get into that here's the time and sales so you can actually see the orders coming in and out you can get a general direction of the market just by judging that if you're good at it here's the active trader similar to down in the bottom right here's the buttons like such here's the chart so if you get rid of that you just have whatever you have left and I have the time and sales up so here is the phase scores I'm not sure what that is it's like company growth stuff uh, more long-term stuff here's a dashboard um, not similar to the buttons level two like in the bottom right here and then here's the news so I always you know leave it up here and there if I want to you know make sure there's some sort of catalyst on a stock so it's pretty much just the same across each one and uh, the gray as you guys can see if you guys are getting confused between the gray and the black here this gray is pre-market and after hours and the black is during market hours so you can see that this is a one two three four I assume five because we got this so that's five five day chart and five minutes you know this is probably a 20 day one hour like that and then this is a one day one minute for sure so you can just customize it however you'd like it's very very simple what I found the best thing to do is just to play around with it get a good feel and then uh, once you find something that you like go up to the top right click setup and just save it and you can come back work on it and you know it, it actually is very very uh, nice to have something already saved for yourself so you can just automatically go in, open it up and then all these pop in and you don't have to worry about anything like that so that is just a general tutorial on the think or swim trading platform so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please sure to like subscribe comment if you're new take care everyone and hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week take care peace out good night